Hello everybody, I am Vandana of class 7B, the freedom fighter whom I like the most is Captain Lakshmi Sagal. She is a true inspiration for women. Freedom comes in three forms. The first is political emancipation from the conqueror. The second is economic emancipation. And the third is social emancipation. India has only achieved the first, says Captain Lakshmi Sagal. She was born on 24th October 1914. She died on 23rd July 2012. She was a multifaceted personality. She was a freedom fighter, a revolutionist, a Marxist, a dedicated doctor, an outstanding leader of women's movement in India and a social reformer. Her father's name was Swaminathan, who was a talented lawyer. Her mother's name was Ammukutti, who was a social worker and a freedom fighter. Her birthplace was Palakkad, which is in Kerala. Her brother and sister were Govind Swaminathan and Rinalini Sarabhai. She studied MBBS from Madras Medical College in 1938. She was married to PKN Rao. In 1940, which was a failure, after seven years, she married Prem Kumar Sagal. Her children were Subhashni Ali and Anisa Puri. From Dr. Lakshmi to Captain Lakshmi, as a young doctor of 26, Lakshmi left for Singapore in 1940. In 1943, she met Netaji Chandra Bose, which changed the course of her life. During the meeting with Netaji, she was officially given an in charge to set up a women's regiment which was to be called the Rani of Jansi Regiment. There was a tremendous response from women to join the All Women Brigade. She earned a name and identity that would stay with her for life. Role as Social Activist Captain Lakshmi was one of the founding members of All India Democratic Women's Association. After the Bhopal gas tragedy in December 1984, she led a medical team to the city. During the anti-Sikh riots that followed Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's assassination in 1984, she was out on the streets in Kanpur confronting anti-Sikh mobs and ensuring that no Sikh near her cleaning was attacked. She was arrested for her participation in in a campaign by AIDWA against the Miss World competition held in Bangalore in 1996. Captain Lakshmi was the presidential candidate for the left parties in 2002, an election that APJ Abdul Kalam won. Had she won that election, she would have become the first woman president of India. In 1998, Lakshmi Sagal was awarded the Padma Vibhushan by then Indian President K. R. Narayanan. On 19 July 2012, Lakshmi Sagal suffered a cardiac arrest and died on 23rd July 2012 at the age of 97 at Kanpur. Her body was donated to Ganesh Shankar Vidyarthi Memorial Medical College for medical research. A big salute to this lady who was a wonderful combination of braveness and determination who won the hearts of millions of people. My hearty 75th Independence Day wishes to you all. Thank you.